Hello everyone, this is Curtis with Weed Whacker Lawn Care. Hey, today is Friday and y'all, you know what I'm doing. I'm running, I'm running, trying to get these lawns today. Uh, I got a lot of uh, just adventures to go and do today. Um, let me see, I'm going, well, this is a weekly lawn that I just showed up at. Y'all know this one, I, I, I shared it uh, last week with y'all. But uh, I'm here again today to... Uh, mow it and trim it and edge it just to touch it up again and then I got another one I got to go do uh, some vines growing all over the house and they didn't want me to take them out so we're gonna take a look at that I'm gonna see if I can get them I bring my ladder with me so hopefully I'll be able to I don't know get them vines down maybe you know I don't know depending on how I have to work with it. I don't want to damage anything trying to pull those vines off because sometimes those vines are they tear, you know, they can tear up the siding of the house, tear it off. They hooked on there, but hopefully um, nothing like that happen. But I'm just sharing this a little bit with y'all right now. Uh, I got to keep pushing. I got to keep pushing. Uh, yeah, I got to keep on pushing y'all. But stay tuned. And let me get back with y'all. I want to go ahead and get this here done so I can get to the, ne the next line here. All right. All right now y'all, I want to start out with this lawn. I'm going to put a good edge job on it. I want to, you know, get the sidewalks, the driveway, get all of that all edged up. So that's what you see me doing right here. I'm getting it all edged up. And sometimes it takes a little time just to get them edged up right. So I'm using the screen trimmer to uh, edge this there up, as you can see. So I'm walking along with it, walking along with it. and the uh, trimmer that I'm using is an Echo uh, is that uh, 3020T plain torque and it's a lot of power so this is a very good trimmer here I like this trimmer I have used it on a lot of properties for its edging and trimming and as you can see it's got a, it, it's got a lot of power and it does a very good job for its edging that's what I'm using. So, uh, y'all just sit back and watch me work here. I know some people like to see me working. And so that's what I'm going to try to show you in this video. Me doing some work. Now what I'm going to do is share me taking care of the front of the lawn here. Uh, I'm going to get it all edged up. And then I will get my mower and I will uh, take and mow the front yard. I'm gonna use my Honda more to mow the front and then I will use my white walk behind to mow the back. Now I'm just gonna share the front on this because it will get pretty long, the video will get long. So I just wanna give you uh, a view of some of what I actually do while I'm out in the lawn for is trimming and edging and mowing the lawn. So as you can see, that's that's what you see me doing right here. I'm, I'm, I'm just trimming up everything, getting it uh, prepared so that I can mow it. So I wanna make sure I got all of uh, the grass around the foundation and the fence trimmed down and you know it, it takes time it takes time to do this to do a thorough job and you know I have to go back and check myself to make sure that I didn't miss anything and, and a lot of times you know you're working out this heat so you want to make sure that you got everything up to part here making it look good uh, you, you, you want you want your customer to be happy with your work so you want to make sure that you're doing the work the customer is paying you to do you know they're paying you to do a thorough job and make it look good for them yeah they 
you want it to look good. So you want to make it look good. And you want to feel good about making it look good for the customer. And so that's the way I feel. Because you know? they'll, keep, they'll keep calling you back. You know, and, 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 that, and that's what you want. You want to uh, continue to get repeat business. So you want to do a good job. And that's what I'm doing right here. I'm, I'm, I'm working to do a good job for the customer so that they're going to be happy, you know, with the appearance of their lawn. That's what I, you know, I'm working on. So getting it all edged up and everything. And it takes time. As I say again, it takes time. You can't just run through them. Take your time and do a thorough job and double check your work at all times. And that, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just sharing that little portion with y'all right now.
everyone I'm back hey I finished up this here property front and back mode it is and trimmed everything off give you a quick view of it okay this here is the way it looks after working on it glad to get that one out the way so now I'm finna hit and see about getting another one taken care of right. okay everyone I just showed up at the property that I was telling you about earlier uh, the house that has the vines on it I'm here to uh, remove those vines from from the house hanging from the roof as you can see up here in the video you know how th those are those vines that are hanging off up there yeah the customer uh, contacted me about removing these vines because of uh, they had got a fine for it and so they wanted to know if I could uh, come over and remove those vines for them and so that's what I'm doing here today I'm going to remove those vines. Um, you know, looking at it, uh, they don't look like it's going to be too bad, but sometimes it can be bad, you know, because you, you just don't know what you're finna uh, get into dealing with, you know, some vines. Hopefully, I can get it off of here with no problems. But uh, as I got up there looking and I grabbed a that vine and pulling it down I noticed that there was a wall's nest attached to the vine and it looked like you know I disturbed that nest so I pulled it down and was, you know with some walls flying around but hopefully you know I won't get stung by some walls here today so I'm going to have to be very careful because I'm kind of afraid right now, you know, with the walls flying around and I'm, you know, going over there, standing on a ladder and working. But I'm determined to, uh, you know, get the job done in a safely manner and not get hurt. So hopefully I'm going to be able to get all of these vines pulled away from the house and you know make it look good make it look good what's going to look better than it was looking with that old vine hanging off of the roof there so i got a ways to go to uh get all of this here you know removed from the house So it's going to take a little time to get this here taken care of. And these kind of jobs, yeah, you have to be careful. Because you never know what, uh, you know, you don't know what, you know, what, the, what, what type of vine it is. Sometimes it can be poison ivory and all of that. And it can be a number of things. And you have to be careful. You don't want to, uh, you know, get into any parts in ivory. Or even working around in some of these bushes, sometimes you have to be well you you have to be careful at all times because sometimes they have snakes and uh other wasp nests in there, beehives and all of that that you may come across while you're out working. So you have to be always look around your surroundings so that you can be safe. And, you know, don't get in a rush. Just be safe and precautious so you don't get hurt. Because you don't know. You know, but I, I thought it was going to be an easy pull for us getting that vine down. But some of it was easy, but this wasn't all easy. Because some of it was still attached to the upper up, uh, you know, underneath the, the roof there. So I'm going to have to work a little bit more to uh, get that off the house. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. We'll get it off there, y'all. Get it off. Pull that all off of there. Yeah, it's coming, though. Uh, what's attached? Oh, that dropped real good. 
but it's some more up there so I'm gonna have to move the ladder around so I can get the rest of it that vine debris from up around there yep so I'm looking around y'all yeah, looking around hopefully you know <laughs> no walls come after me but I never know when I'm out here on these types of jobs, you never know where those walls are flying, what they, uh, you know, may do to me, try to sting me or something. So hopefully that that don't happen today. No, I don't want to get stung by the walls. So I'm just I'm looking around, be on the safe side. And normally, you know, like on this here property here, what will, uh, what I will do is when I, I come, normally I just take and I mow this property and edge it up and trim it up and all, everything, just, you know, keep it up for the customer and all. Right now what I'm doing is I'm getting my uh, backpack blower to help protect me some, so, you know, if, walls coming at me or something other I can uh, use the blower to blow some you know wind uh, towards them and get them to go another way leave me alone so that's what I'm doing now getting that so that I can uh, hopefully uh, get over it get up there and uh, this here all taken care of and trust me it is hot out here it's hot today it's hot work working in this yeah so get the backpack blower all running you know get it running so that uh I can uh protect myself. Hopefully I'm going to try to blow over in that area there and blow some of those uh, walls away that's flying around over there. Yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll leave you alone for a while. You know, you blow some wind at them. Yeah, and I'm just thinking about this job, you know, it, it takes time. It takes time, you're working in the heat, working in a dangerous environment, dealing with wasps and trying to get something down here. So far, so good. I'm glad. I'm just, you know, I'm being cautious at all times, hopefully. Yeah, no wasps is around. Sure, I'll blow it off real good. I'll blow that wind up there, so so that they'll they'll go on, <laughs> leave me alone. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reposition the ladder. finish working and getting all that vine removed from up there. So 
So I'm getting a ladder. Uh, put over on this here side here so that I can uh, get up there and uh, get this here all removed. Oh, guys, and, and, and today I have uh, my friend with me helping me uh, with the recording of the video. Uh, glad that I always, you know, have some help. So while I'm uh, doing this, right now what I'm going to do is get the rake and... Uh, use that to uh, help get the rest of uh, the vine off from up there. Yeah, it, uh, there and uh, see if I can get that off of there. See, I'll uh, rake that off of there. Get that off. Just, you know, get it all good and clean up for the customer and get that off of there. Yeah, take a little time just to get that off. Yeah, I got that section clean off there. So now I'm going to move the ladder again and uh, see about the other little section over here and getting the rest of that line off. Yeah, and you see, you know, and when you get these type of jobs, they take time. A lot of people don't understand, you know, they, they think you can just rush, run, and do this. And that's that's when you wind up, you know, having accidents, getting in a rush. So, you know, so just, I've learned a long time ago, take your time on some jobs and be safe and just, you know, just do the job in a safely manner and won't have any accidents and all. There's no rush. Now, I do have other lawns to take care of, but hey, if it's meant for me, it'll be there. If it's not, then it wasn't meant for me. So, oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it. So, what I'm gonna uh, do is take my time. And uh, do it, you know, where I feel safe about doing it. Because I'm, I'm, I, one thing I do want to say, it, it doesn't matter, no amount of money that someone can pay you. If you get hurt and bruised up and you land up, and you, it wasn't even worth it at all. I mean, it's not worth it to get hurt. No amount of money. You, you know, get all bruised up and all. 
So that's the best thing is just take your time and be cautious of what you're doing. You know, get in a rush. You know, check yourself. Just be cautious. You know, be cautious at all times. Safety comes first. Think about what you're doing and think about how you're going to do it and not get hurt. No, these not no easy, easy task. Dealing with this and bees and I'm on the ladder and all. No, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be safe about it, so that uh, I can complete this and move on to some other jobs. That's right. So I completed that, got that one, that section all taken care of. And now I will take and move the ladder to the front. I'm just checking again to make sure that there's no bees or oh, uh, walls flying around up there. So now I'll get the ladder and bring it around to the front and, and climb up on the roof. And hopefully remove the rest of that vine from the house. Yeah, I have the blower still running. So now, I'm gonna climb up, up the ladder on, onto the roof. Now I'm still afraid, cause I know there was some walls flying around and I'm hoping that I can just get up here and uh, nothing happens. And you always have to be careful, you know, especially when you climbing up on a ladder and stepping on the roof. Because you never know, only some of these roofs, they can have a soft spot. And, you know, you can go through the roof. You don't know how to, you know, that, that roof is. You don't know. You don't know how old the roof is. You don't know nothing. But you get up there and you can run across some soft spots and that stuff will cave in on you get hurt so a lot of times I won't you know I won't get up get up on these roofs because I'm like no that's all right uh, especially you know older houses never know sometimes they could you know the roof may look good but they may be done put a new roof and nailed on top of an old roof and take the shingle, take all the old shingles off. They just nailed on it so they didn't know they don't know what's up under that roof. It could be some rotten boards or something in that nature. So you have to be very careful at all times getting on the roof. I don't know. Yeah, so right there I'm 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 blowing there were some walls flying around up there, so hopefully you know, like I say, I'm using that blower to blow, to blow that air to uh, make those walls go away.
So, you know, I'm just getting some of that old, wrapping up some of that vine just to, uh, you know, get it off the roof and all. I'm gonna see if I can get the rest of that little vine just hanging. Try to get that off of there. Yeah, so I was able to use the rake and get that portion of that off of there. Okay, so now I'm climbing down the ladder, getting off that roof. I'm I'm glad to um, I'm glad to be getting off that roof. I feel more safer than I'm climbing down that ladder. Yes, it'll be much better when I get down on the ground. Once I get down, y'all, I'm gonna um, finish uh, cleaning up everything. I have to rake up all, all of that that vine debris, get all that picked up, and then I'm gonna take and uh, mow the property and all. And I'm gonna uh, also uh, check around the foundation where that root. For that vine, I'm going to try to uh, dig that up, get that out of there. And just do an overall, uh, you know, cleaning. For I'm going to clean out the flower beds, blow all the debris out of the flower beds. And um, just rake up everything. And... Then hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll finish this property up. I mean, it's hot out here. It's hot, very hot. But hopefully I can, you know, get everything all cleaned up and looking good. Now, I'm not going to uh, take and continue to record all of that because that would make this video go into probably about a two hours. So nobody want to see a two-hour video. So that's why I try to keep them short. I try to just touch bases of some of the areas and some of the stuff that I'm doing out here in these lawns. So I, I, I you know, just just trying to just share that with y'all. But I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned.